Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching. It is Craftsman Lawnmower Central in my garage right now, at least at the time of this filming. I'll show you a quick overview before we start working on this. Uh, this is a Southern States brand riding mower lawn tractor. 38 inch, 15 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton. I think it's good. We'll find out. Um, I know it needs a deck arm. It's missing a spark plug. It's missing a carburetor. And uh, we'll figure out what else it's missing. And we'll see if we can get this thing going. Um, I got this mower and a lot of four riding mowers and a bunch of mower parts for uh, one price. And so I got a good deal on it. One of the mowers I've already fixed. You've seen that yard machine. It's actually sitting right here beside me, waiting on a buyer at the time of filming. And uh, this one right here should uh, put me in the profit, which leaves me uh, a nice craftsman uh, to finish. It hopefully, you'll see later on uh, here on the channel, uh, depending on how everything goes. Let's go ahead and get started with the Southern States. I'll give you an overview of everything in the garage, and I'll give you an overview of this rider, and we'll get rolling with it. So I've got a couple of oddballs in here, but mostly it's just Craftsman stuff. Um, this Poland y'all saw on the channel, uh, engine blew out of nowhere on the guy. Full of oil, cutting grass, just went boom. So I swapped the engine in there for him. Hopefully he'll come to pick this thing up soon so I can get my space back. That Craftsman's the gray one I was talking about. I've got the snapper here waiting on a deck. But here's a Southern States, which is the same manufacturer. I had a Husqvarna yesterday, same manufacturer. Yard machines, there's the LT4000, and then there's the one that I took the engine off of because I've got to do a rear end swap on it. So I'm essentially going to build a lawnmower. That is going to be coming on the channel hopefully pretty soon. But this is the one that we're going to focus today's video on. It's a Southern States, like I said, 15 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton 38 inch cut riding mower. A little weathered from sitting out, I don't know if it's sitting outside or just sitting under a tarp and just having moisture and stuff on it. The deck seems to be in okay condition. Um, there is an issue with the deck arm over on that side. They actually have it held up by a uh, bail cable and so I have to um, get that taken care of here um, in the video just need to find a deck arm and put put it on there um, it's got the whole they've got this thing jacked way up in the back too that's probably because of the way that the um, the way that the deck is but obviously we got leaves and junk under it the belt looks to be in pretty good shape all things considered um i will i know at least have to take this deck off number one and number two i've got a um i think the deck spindles are free on it which is good but i will have to probably fix the uh blade engage cable because it's stuck that's pretty typical a little bit different on a 38 than a 42 and this is still the old style 38 with this type of discharge on it which is uh for a i believe this is a 2006 2005 so um, for 2005, that's a pretty late year to be putting on the decks. I think 05, I think 06 is when they changed the decks to that four spindle or the four, the four bolt spindle over the three bolt spindle and kind of changed the pulleys around and stuff a little bit. Anyways, 15 and a half horse Briggs, overhead valve. Um, I didn't have an air filter in it when I got it. It's got that pre-filter, which is pretty trash. We'll go ahead and throw that away. No plug in it, so we'll put a plug. Here's a uh, nice shiny new one right here, actually, that I got in a box of goodies when that polling came in. I'll put that plug in and uh, ooh, get that dirt garbage nest out of there. 
That was easy. Yeah, we got a little bit more in there. This thing's been sitting up a little while, I think. So I'm curious to see if the thing will even start. I'm going to put a battery in it. We'll get on this side. Let me pull the tripod over. Let's see if we can do all this in one or two parts here. I've had a lot of one part riding mowers this year, haven't I? Not a lot of three parters like they usually do, or like I had in the past. Alright, so I'll get that hood off. I'll show you on this side, there's no carburetor or anything. Like it's all, like the whole shebang is missing, including the pipe. So at least the guy, remember the guy I got it from, he does work on lawn equipment, so he uh, kind of did his best to keep things, you know, good in that aspect. Okay, so let me get that out of the way. I've got a carburetor sitting right there, actually. So I'll go ahead and get that on. I'll get everything set up here for you. What I will do off camera is take off these bolts, two 10 mils, three eighths, and I think I just need to loosen them. Yeah, so these are the ones you just have to loosen and take the cover off. And I'm just going to put that entire carburetor assembly on it, put a plug in it, Put a battery in it. We'll see if this thing will crank over and run for us. I have no clue if it will, but we're going to find out. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and put this carburetor on now. Let me grab it. So... I just got the whole intake here ready to roll, so we'll just put this whole shebang on while we're here. Hopefully, I don't think this engine's moved in a long time. Once I put the plug in, it feels like it's got compression. It just seems a little on the low side for some reason. All right, there we go. So I'm just hooking the linkages and stuff up now. Slide it through that eyelet there. Have one Poland Pro yesterday that I repaired for a guy. Like, hooked this in. It was really weird. I had to clean that intake out just a little bit. But now I can put these intake bolts in. Get them in a few threads and then I'll just impact them in. See a little bit of dirt and crud and stuff, but it's, thankfully it's no like, no mouse nests or anything in here. It's just, you know, a little bit of dirt from use and a little bit of dirt from storage. So I hooked all the linkages up. We're bolting this up. That was the e I mean, that's the easy part. We'll just plug this in. This carburetor is actually pretty new because I put it on. This is the one that came off of that pulling that blew the engine on the guy. So yeah, I don't have it the right way. Just plug that anti-back tire in there. Um, let's see what else we got going here. So I already put the plug in, cleaned out that coil wire. I'll leave this cover off just to test it. I do need to put some fuel line on it, so I will go ahead and grab, I'll make it easy. Take a 10 mil. I think the tank is okay. Take the 10 mil off. Because there's been no gas in it whatsoever. 
It smells a little rusty crusty, but it's very clean on the inside, as you can see. So let me grab the right fuel line and a fuel filter. I'll do that off camera because that's pretty straightforward, and I'll uh, we'll get this thing going here. All right, guys, I put fuel line, fuel filter, gas in it, um, and a battery. So let's see what we've got. Let's see if I'm getting a click. Okay. So the ignition switch is working. Let's see if the, uh, somebody is hardwired the solenoid, which is weird, but let's see what happens. That's what it's trying to do. Alright, I'm going to take the deck belt off of it real quick. So I'll smoke the belt on it. way back there because I was anticipating driving <laughs> uh, runs I'm not gonna run it like like that with the way that the belt is for the blades at this point gosh that thing started right up so I got to take this deck off anyways we know that everything was trying to move on it so um, y'all see me take these decks off about a thousand times I'm gonna pull it up a little bit Take care of too. Find a deck arm for it. I think the deck's in good condition overall. It's that 38 inch deck, which has terrible, like it's paper thin, so it's known for breaking brackets. But like I said, this one looks to be complete. We're going to take off. Oh, these clips, probably try and take off of one of the front if I'm able to. But, like I said, I'm going to try and take off these clips, take off this deck. I'll show you how to take it off real quick before I do it. I'll do it off camera. Um, deck bracket. Right there. That's number two. There's the same on the other side. I usually like trying to take them off at the front for the deck arms, just so I don't have to worry about them dragging whenever I'm moving the mower around. And what else do we have here? You've got your bracket right here for your blade engagement, which I can pull that right there. We'll have to see if we have to put a cable on it or, or, or if it's just, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I'll probably have to put a cable on it, unfortunately. We'll, we'll see what we end up having to have to do to this thing. But that pulley, there's a clip on the back on that side. And then there's other two clips. And this thing should come on, come on off after you take that spring off. So I'll get to that point. We'll pull this deck off and uh, see what we can manage here with, uh, with it running. I just want to drive it around a little bit. Let it run for little bit um, and then we'll fix the deck that was easy y'all that was an easy runner started right up for us all right guys I got the deck off I'm gonna pull it out here I do have the tires still flat I'm just gonna kind of pull it out and back it up just to make sure all the gears and stuff work um, and then I'll put some ATF in the tires and we'll drive it around
Sis, she'll crank back up for us. Governor's a little lazy, but let me get a little lube on it. My garage looks like a disaster, y'all. I just did an engine swap, and it just makes the whole thing just look like a bomb and all. Let me grab some lube. Hopefully the governor's not broke internally. It just wasn't. Just wasn't picking up. And originally I don't think I had the the uh, mower in a gear whenever it wasn't moving there. Let's see if the governor picks up any better now. y'all um i'm gonna get some atf in these tires well at least in that one yeah all four of them could use some couldn't they huh is that a tube no put about eight ounces a piece in each of the tires and uh see if they can hold for us and uh we'll drive it around just to to uh get some you know get some fluid flowing and uh see what we can manage here it's not expecting it to be that easy to start and run things started right up it's awesome one thing i did notice that i am gonna this does have the chronic deck bracket issue here to where this gets kind of pulled up on it a little bit and so i'm gonna pull it back down clean this up a little bit after i uh wash this up and clear all the leaves out of it i'll grind that off and i'll see what i can do about welding this on so that it stays pretty sturdy but i think the way that they had it on here it was a lot of tension on the uh on the on this bracket um so pulleys deck pulleys are good engagement is good too as you can see deck belt is presentable enough to be used it's a little glazed but i'm sure it will work just fine i haven't even checked the blade yet let me put y'all on the tripod and we'll check the blades of course i moved my oh blades are in great shape 
Slay Dreamy. That's the blade break, but the uh Blades are sharp enough, I don't think I'm going to have to do anything with them either, which is awesome. That's fantastic. All right, ATF time, and then I'll take you all on the drive. All right, y'all, so I'm just going to take this thing around. Might put the hood on to make it look a little better. Yeah, whatever. I got I to gotta put the cover back on it anyways. But let's do this. expecting this to not work, to not run, actually. Woo! It's starting to rain on us again. Even the brakes work. That's a rarity. It's gonna pour down rain on me. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the garage. I mean, the thing's not even smoking or anything. It's been sit up for I, who knows how long. Um, well, I'll let the shower pass. I do want to wash it this evening, but we'll see what we end up going. I just needed to get some ATF circulating around the tires there, so hopefully they will stay up for us overnight. Um, I'll get the engine cover on. And, uh... I gotta clean my garage up. I'm gonna clean my garage up. Hopefully it'll stop pouring down rain now and uh, give this thing a wash. And then the next thing I'll need to do, I'll give it an oil change first, give it a wash. I'll rejoin y'all after I get those things done on this mower. Let's see, let's have a drain plug on it. Yeah, they put a drain plug on this one. I had a yard, that yard machines I showed at the beginning of the video didn't even have a drain plug on it. So thank you, AYP Craftsman, whatever. I'll clean it up, and I will. Uh, we'll move on to the deck next. All right, guys. About the last thing I got to do to this thing, apart from wash it, is put this uh, blade engage cable on. So ten mils. We'll take the gas tank back off after just had it off. And we can just place the gas tank just on top of the engine it's not going to mess anything up a lot of room it gives you access to it a whole lot easier got a little bit of wiring something going on here um so now let me get on the other side hopefully i'm not gonna get in y'all's way and hopefully you can see what i'm about to do as good as you can so I'm going to reach under here, here I'll unplug the ignition switch just to get it kind of out of the way. Um, and we're going to take off the blade engage cable, which I will actually, because it's frozen, I mean I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going to take the four, there's four 10 mils on the front here for the blade engage 
and that gets you better access to there we go to it got a knob here as well I'm gonna take off the knob if y'all can see that that knob just unscrews and now we've got access to the entire blade engage assembly right here and you can see how it goes so I just need some pliers and we'll take the pliers and kind of get in there Kind of get under it, maybe. I don't know. It's a little difficult to access, but push the tabs in. Do our best to pull it out, which will work out beautifully because the cable is frozen. And we take that and we push up on this clip to get it off of the off the little knob that it rests on. Usually you can just push it up. You do not have to save that little knob thing. There's one that comes on the new one. So let's see if we can just give it a nice little push here up and out. The thing is about the new ones is they usually don't fit as tightly as the OEM ones. So that's loose. Now what we have to do, I'm literally just feeding it down through the frame and I'm just pulling it out here. I think I should just be able to pull it out once I get it past the hole. There may be one zip tie holding it on and there's not. So we just got the old one out. Let me just get the spring out of the way real quick. Alright, so that's really nothing we can do with that. It's uh, pretty frozen up. That happens whenever they sit a while. So, let me get the new one and we'll go ahead and work on that. I got these things just lined up here ready to roll because this is a very common issue. To have to fix and like I said or I think the cables are about ten dollars on eBay Amazon whatever you're whatever you fancy very reasonable very reasonably priced so I'm just gonna stick this one down the hole there just like so I'm gonna take the new one and feed it up through here, get us up a little bit more room, and over that little knob there, push it down, it will lock into place, it may not lock into place very well, however, it is in there. See, see, like these don't really lock into place very well. They have a lot of play in them. And what I like to do a lot of times is actually take some. Let's see what we can do here. Take some electrical tape and wrap around it. So I might grab me some pliers or something and just kind of jam this up in place. Otherwise, we're going to have an issue with it popping off, and then your blades aren't going to work. So, just grabbing something, hopefully, that will allow this to stay in the upright position while I do this. That's good enough. We'll find some electrical tape. Electrical tape is one of your best friends in small engine repair from what I have learned. So we'll take it, we're just going to wrap it, wrap it like so, wrap it around a few times, The this uh, shaft here, 
the blade engage shaft to keep it from popping up. And we'll be in good shape. So I kind of want to get it higher than it is. I'll just pull off some and just kind of, it doesn't have to be on tight, it just has to be to where it's not causing any issues with it popping up out of place. That should do it for us. So now what I can do is attach the cable like so. There we go. So that's on. Got a little bit of tension there with the electrical tape. Now we can feed this back in. Get all this, all this wiring sorted out as well. So I'll get it in there. Visibility is a little bit limited, I understand, but. Hopefully y'all kind of get what we're doing here. Kind of might have made a boo-boo here. Probably want to get it behind this wiring harness, which I can pull the spring back. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but... A little bit of a wiring harness up here we're going to try and get it behind. then, man, I'm making a mess out of this, aren't I? <laughs> Feed it down through there. There's a hole that you'll see. I'll show you the hole after I get this in. But that's on. Table's a little, not twisted, but. Just pull this cable down while I'm out of here. Alright. Oh no, I just got it all screwed up here, don't I? We'll get it fixed right. I think I did have it right, y'all. Let me unplug the wire for the... Man, I am struggling here. Let me unplug the wire for this blade engagement. We'll get the blade engagement on, and then we'll get the wiring sorted out. How about that? Alright, so it definitely needs to go behind the wire for the cable. So that it's got enough room to engage. I'll put the screws back on for the Alright, so I'll put the knob back on. That way I can expedite this process for everybody. So I got the knob back on. I'll put the screws back on, but I'll go ahead and plug back in the get this loose here. Plug back in the ignition and golly I did put it back the wrong way didn't I? No I didn't. There we go. I've got the ignition plugged back in and now I'll plug in this wire again and we should be good. I put those four screws back on, put the gas tank back on. Your hole that you that you feed the cable down is right 
down there. And then it just runs down like this, and then we'll attach it to the deck. So I'm going to wash it, then we'll attach the deck, and I might find a little cover for this just to make it look prettier and be done with it, guys. We're almost there. All right, y'all, we just had a thunderstorm pass, pass, but I got this thing back. There's a couple of details I did. I'll show you. I do need to get rid of this wiring for the headlights because this plug actually was melted. I think it rubbed up against the muffler. I found a deck arm. I've got it level. It's at its highest position right now, and it's pretty level, and it's about, about the height that I want it. Um, I did a little bit of welding on the deck bracket over here. I don't like showing my welding because I'm not very good. People like double wide six are so much better than I am, but I got that welded on both sides so that it's not going to potentially fall off. That's the weakest point on these 38 inch decks. So again, I've got it all the way up. The ATF has held the tires at least for a day, which is good. Um, That one's gone down a little bit, but the others are the others are fine. And I haven't really rolled it very much, so I'm sure that they'll seal a little bit better as they get more roll time. Um, like I said, I still need to change the oil in it. I will do that before I wash it. It got a nice bath while it rained because I just had it outside. But um, here, I'm gonna. I've got everything back on. One of the blade brakes also had broken. I only have one blade brake, but let's we'll see how everything operates. Everything's freed up, and the deck is engaging. The new cable, the new cable's working great. So, jump the front pulley
it takes a second for the blades to stop, but you know. But that's all it's doing. As long as it's not jumping the belt, we're good. Good deal. Belt routing looks okay. I gotta grease the front end up and change the oil. Let me drive it back down here. The governor's just a little slow to react, but it's getting better. I think that'll work y'all super good very nice didn't take a lot to get going didn't take a lot to get mowing so let me get the oil changed and uh give it a wash and i'll give you all a final look at this uh southern states i think we're gonna pull about 450 on this is what i'm gonna ask for it i think i could get close to that if i get 400 bucks i'll be super satisfied we'll be rocking and rolling so let me work on this and uh, I'll catch you on just a second. All right, guys, there it is. Really cleaned up very nicely. Resale red, I guess, is what they call it, right? So, um, I mean, everything looks good on it. I don't really notice anything wrong with it. Um, governor's a little slow to react whenever you throttle it up, but that's about it. I think that might get a little bit better with a little bit of runtime. Um, it already got better whenever I did the uh, did a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, the governor arm. So let me show you that it runs. We'll take it for a final drive and we'll wrap this video up. really good and pretty quiet too. Idles down pretty nicely.
get in here and cut that little patch up here. Probably just idle down just a tiny bit, but running really good. I might not even bother with it. Uh, and it also might be a little bit of a governor thing. So this thing's I'm very surprised at this thing. So again, another one part video here, y'all. Um, I know it's maybe a little bit lengthy, but we got, I mean, this thing just needed some parts put on it. And, uh, that's really about it. I do need to grease. Oh, these do not have greasable front end spindles, so can't do that. Budget bargain basement mower. You don't get some things like that. But it's ready. What do we do? Put a carburetor on it, deck cable on it, and uh, some fuel line. Change the oil in it. Um, put a deck left excuse me, deck leveling arm, put a little bit of uh, ATF in the tires, and this thing's good to go. We'll list it for 450 It's just a nice little basic ride mower. Uh, probably sell all day long for about 400 bucks, and uh, that's, about, that's about the money that I have in the lot that I got this in. And I've already sold one for 425 so we're a few hundred dollars in the good already, and I still have a a gray LT1000 back there to get fixed and uh, sold for before uh, you know it's all said and done. So we're in good shape. I know when I see Craftsman mowers that I'm usually going to you know bode pretty well when I finish with them. So easy to fix, and this one ended up being easier than I thought it was going to be, which is even better. So I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Catch you then.